Award shows can be very scandalous events, since we get to see the biggest names in Hollywood talking with no scripts. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 celebrity scandals that happened at award shows part 2. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And at number 10, Oscars mix up. This has gone down as one of the worst flubs in history because the most coveted Oscar of the night was temporarily given to the wrong movie. In 2017, La La Land and Moonlight were neck and neck for the Best Picture award. After some pausing and confusion, the presenters faced Dunaway and Warren Beatty ended up giving the award to the wrong movie, La La Land. The entire cast and crew of the movie came up on stage and even started giving their speeches until someone on the PricewaterhouseCoopers team stepped in and told them that they didn't actually win. Then La La Land producer Jordan Horowitz humbly yelled, quote, Moonlight, you guys won, into the mic. Everyone watching was thoroughly confused for a few minutes until Warren Beatty came back on the stage and revealed that he got the wrong card and that's why he paused. And at number 9, Rashida Jones. This one is incredible uncomfortable and a little hard to watch, but thankfully Rashida took things like a champ. While Rashida was walking the red carpet during the 2015 Screen Actors Guild Awards, she was doing quick interviews with tons of media outlets. During one interview with TNT, Rashida was happily talking about her gorgeous gown and who made the stunning piece. But then things got cringy when the interviewer asked Rashida about her tan, saying that the actress looked like she just came back from a tropical vacation and had a beautiful glow. Obviously this reporter didn't know that Rashida was biracial, being half black and half white, and her tan was actually just her skin color. So Rashida replied, quote, you know, I'm ethnic, to which the reporter tried to laugh it off. And at number 8, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman raised eyebrows when she called out the Golden Globes on the nominees for the Best Picture Award. After Oprah gave a legendary speech about injustice and equality at the 2018 Golden Globes, it seems that Natalie Portman was inspired to call out injustice. While presenting the award for the Best Picture category, Natalie said, quote, and here are the all-male nominees. Even though it was subtle, one word made all the difference to get the point across. Her co-presenter laughed it off awkwardly. Even more awkward were the faces of the directors while their names were being listed off, but you could see some celebrities in the back happy that Natalie made that statement. And at number 7, Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon took some major shots at the Kardashian clan, specifically Kim, while she was accepting an MTV Movie Award in 2011. During her speech, Reese took the time to bash some of her Hollywood counterparts. She told young girls watching that it's possible to make it in Hollywood without a reality show. And if you weren't sure exactly who she was talking about, Reese piled the hate on thicker and added that back in the day an explicit tape would have been something to be embarrassed about, but now it's something that helps women rise to fame. Basically saying that you can be a good girl and still make it in the business. TMZ actually caught up with Kim and asked her about Reese's speech, to which Kim replied that she loves Reese, clearly taking the high road. In at number 6, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. The whole world fell in love with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper when they were starring in the movie A Star Is Born. The best part was that Gaga was not even a seasoned actress, so it made everyone think the on-screen chemistry between them was more than just acting. The rumors about these two got even crazier when the pair performed a ballad from the movie at the 2019 Oscars, and the chemistry between these two was hard to deny. Lady Gaga had also recently broke up with her fiance, Christian Carino, around this time, leading many to think it was because of jealousy. And then during their performance, Bradley's longtime girlfriend Irina Shayk was sitting in the audience, which made things even more awkward, especially since Irina and Bradley split shortly after this. Halfway number 5, Kanye West. There's no way I can make this list without including the infamous incident where Kanye interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech. At the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, Taylor snagged the award for Best Female Video for the song You Belong With Me. Beyonce was also up for the award for her music video Single Ladies. After Taylor won, Kanye West didn't feel the win was well deserved, so he came up on stage and told the world that Beyonce had one of the best music videos of all time. The crazy interruption would go down in history for all the wrong reasons. And the now infamous line, quote, Taylor, I'ma let you finish, will be memed till the end of time. Taylor spoke about the incident after the fact, saying, quote, I was standing on stage and I was really excited, then I wasn't excited anymore after that. And at number 4, Steve Harvey. While Steve Harvey was presenting the awards at the Miss Universe pageant, he made a terrible mistake. In 2015, the show was going along very well, and Steve was going to present the winner of the pageant. It was between Colombia and the Philippines. And instead of saying the first runner up, which is customary for those award shows, Steve went straight to the winner, announcing Colombia had won. When in reality, Columbia was actually just the first runner up in the competition. After Miss Columbia was given the crown and the sash, and a few moments to soak in the glory, Harvey came back to stage to reveal a terrible mistake. All he had to say was that Columbia was the first runner up, and it was clear to everyone Miss Philippines was the real winner. And the rest of the show was so awkward, it was honestly hard to watch. And at number 3, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is beloved for her hilarious and quirky personality. And even though she's one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, she's still one of the most klutzy celebrities ever. She cemented this in the 
eyes of the world when she tripped while walking up to the stage to accept her Oscar for Best Actress in 2013. After she got up to the stage, the crowd gave her a standing ovation, and she said, quote, You guys are just standing because you feel bad that I fell, and that's really embarrassing. And this is not the only time that J-Law has fell. She actually fell at the Oscars again while on the red carpet a few years later, leading some to speculate her klutziness could just be all an act for press. And at number two, the 1974 Oscars streaker. This one is a little less known, but since most award shows are live broadcasts, it's understandable that some people might try to take advantage. That's exactly what happened at the 1974 Oscars when a man decided to run naked through the broadcast. The man even flashed a peace sign while he ran past the presenter, David Niven. Niven hardly seemed phased and responded by saying, quote, Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was almost bound to happen. But isn't it fascinating to think that probably the only laugh that man will ever get in his life is by stripping off and showing his shortcomings. That's probably the shadiest thing that I have ever heard. I can almost guarantee the streaker regretted it after that. And finally, number one, James Franco and Anne Hathaway. Scandal probably isn't the right word for what I'm about to talk about. Trainwreck is probably more fitting. James Franco's acting career has taken a hit for many reasons, but his hosting career was over just as fast as it started after he hosted the Oscars with Anne Hathaway. If you don't already know about this legendary night, James Franco and Anne Hathaway hosted the 2011 awards, but it was universally regarded as a disaster. The main reason for the train wreck was James Franco, because he looked half asleep the whole time, like he didn't want to be there, which forced Anne to overcompensate with her delivery. I think it's safe to say that Franco is the one that made it hard to watch, while Anne was just trying to keep things afloat. After this, the Oscars never did co-hosting again. Wonder why. So that's all for the list guys, let me know your thoughts below, but before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from part 1. Jem Last said, I never kissed my brother like that, lol, yeah, it's um, hopefully no one kisses their brother like that. Very, very strange. Then someone else said, I wouldn't mind where I got the kiss from Ian Summerhalder. I would jump at the chance. Oh yeah, he is like perfection. I don't even think there's like a more beautiful person. Like everything about him. Yeah, no, he is. Chef's kiss. Then Rose said, I'd also have kept the broken award as KS wanted. It was a once in a lifetime moment to be remembered. Yes, Kristen Stewart was definitely right for wanting that award. That's so cool. Like it's, yeah, it's just a once, you know, in a lifetime, not most people don't break their award, thankfully, but it's like a cool story. Like, oh, when I won my first award or whatever it was, I actually broke it. It's just like a cool thing, you know? All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.